Varunga är rakt fel. Good morning guys and welcome to another YouTube video. I hope you're all feeling good and that you had a lovely Christmas and that you had a good holidays and that you have been refilling your batteries and ready for the new year. Um, today I'm going to show you how we prepare our trucks for the winter. Uh, I'm going to show you how we prevent the wagon to freeze and what you can do if the wagon freezes and a little bit of tips and tricks around that. And I was at the store yesterday and I bought this um, Alcohol is 99.5% of freezing protection, but it's not for having fun. Uh, it's for the wagon actually. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what you can do with the alcohol. Uh, and it's very, very useful, especially for us when we're going from southern Sweden up to northern Sweden. Because in the south it's warmer and up in the north it's colder, which can do uh, a lot of things to the wagon when it gets cold and warm and all of that. So we are going to start with this, with the alcohol and yep, I'm just going to grab my jacket and we're going to go out and I'm going to show you how to put alcohol into the wagon. So the first thing we're going to do is to put the alcohol into the pneumatic, into this one. Uh, but before we can do that, we have to drain all of the air tanks with air. So we're going to pull out that cable here, this hose, the pneumatic. Uh, and then we are going to go back here, uh, there, and we are going to empty all of the tanks here from air, and then then we can start filling the pneumatic with alcohol. And why we are using alcohol into our air system is because here you have the pneumatic, um, and that runs on air. So our brakes runs on air, and sometimes it can have come water inside the hose here that goes all the way back to the wheels um, and as you know when water gets cold it freezes when it gets you know minus and that can make the wheels to freeze also the brakes to freeze and that will make the wheels not turning and that can make a lot of damage not only you can get a flat tire it can only be a disaster if you are driving and it's all of the sudden just freezes you know you're wagon could just go to the ditch or something like that uh, so it could be really dangerous not to make sure that you have been uh, draining your tanks with alcohol uh, so that's why we're going to put our alcohol inside the pneumatic and we're going to solve up all of the eventual water that could be inside the, the hoses so we can yeah be safe when we're going up north into the colder weather That was the pneumatic and the alcohol we are leaving here for now. Okay, so now we're going to go back here. There. Now we're just going to empty the tank and then we're going to make sure that all of the air are out from the tank before we can start our alcohol process. And also this makes a lot of noise, so it's better to just cover your ears with something. I don't have any, any ear mods, so I'm just going to use my hand and yeah. Finally that took some time. Now the tank is empty. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take, uh, but now the tank is empty. Uh, and now we can go back to the diomatic and we can fill up some alcohol into the diomatic and now we can start the process with the, with the alcohol into the system. I'm just going to get my gloves on. And here we have the diomatic and here we have the alcohol. So I'm just going to, I've just opened the bottle and then we're going to open the, the diomatic like this. There. And then we're taking the, the alcohol. And on the pneumatic, it's okay to use both holes. You sing!
will be enough. Uh, now we have filled the geomatic with alcohol, so we are going to put it back in place in here. And now you can hear. How the tank is getting refilled. And to build up the pressure again into the tanks, we're gonna have to start the truck so it yeah, so the tanks can get refilled with air again. <laughs> now we're just gonna wait for the brake pressure to go up to the green and then we can go out and see how it goes for our little alcoholic wagon. <laughs> As you can see here on the brake pressure. Uh, we're just going to have to wait until it get to the green. You can see now on the on the brake pressure, it has gone up to the green again. Uh, but I'm going to let the engine run a little bit longer, just to make sure that the pressure still is in the system. Uh, and then we can go out and see how good the alcohol has gone through the hose. So we really have to have a good pressure in our tanks before we can check the check if the alcohol has gone through the system correctly. Close this time. And we're going to, to grab my my gloves. And we're going out. Here. So what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to drain the tank, one more tank from air. Uh, just to make sure that the alcohol has passed through the hose and into the to the tank again uh, so in that way we are safe on the air brake at least <laughs> so yeah we are going to drain the tank one more time and the gloves are on if you look closely now you can see that the alcohol has gone into the tank. Look at this. And that is how you fill the tanks with alcohol and prevent the brakes to freeze during the winter. So now you know how to do that. So now you know how to prevent the air brakes to freeze on the wagon, but on our wagons we have two kind of systems on the brakes. We both have the air system that you now know how to prevent, and we also have disc brakes. Uh, and I'm going to show you back here. So here we have the wagon, and the first axle runs on air, and the second axle is a disc brake. And if we go back here, this wheel is also a disc brake. Uh, and this one runs on air. So we have two axles that runs on air and two axles that runs on uh, disc brakes. And if you ever get a locked disc brake, uh, it has happened to me several times. It's when it's warmer during the day and it gets colder during the night. And mostly during the night when we are loading and unloading our wagons, uh, we always attach the catastrophe brake. Uh, and when you attach the catastrophe brakes, it's a spring that is getting attached on the disc brake, on this wheel, so the wheel gets locked. Um, and when we are unloading, it takes some time and it gets cold, it gets freezing. And when you're about to roll, uh, we always uh, put in the catastrophe brake again, so the spring should uh, go to its right position. But when it gets cold and gets freezing, uh, let's pretend that this wheel has gone stuck. Uh, and that's because the, the spring in the disc brake is still attached on its locked mode because it has frozen like that. Uh, so I'm going to show you two different things that I have learned, what you can do if your disc brake has been freezing. So now it's time to uh, unbox this. So we're going all the way back here to the second ox axle uh, where the disc brake is. So we're just going to go in here. It's very very tight underneath here. We have the air tank here and it, there is the disc brake. So this is the one you're going to use the, the hammer or the sledge on. 
Uh, so we're just going to knock that a little bit until the sound from the ice, provincial ice, that could be inside a disc brake. Before you go under the wagon with the hammer, you can use it on the outside first. Uh, so I'm going to show you where you can hit with the hammer, so the ice will lose from the from the wheel. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to take off the ice from the uh, brake disc when it gets really, really bad. So this is the fun part. It's very good to have one of these with you when you're going up north because if the freezing gets really really bad on the disc brake it's good to have something that heating it up and this is the best best thing to use if it gets really really cold and the brake disc freezes like really bad yep i'm lying under the under the wagon right now and I'm going to show you here here you have the disc brake so this is where you should hit with the hammer and this is where we're going to use the blowtorch you're gonna have to start it first here. And then you just warm it up here. And that is how you blow towards the disc brakes. And one of the tips that I'm having, if it's really dark outside or if you have bad sight, you can always, if you're unsure if the tires are moving, you can always put a little mark with a pen on the wheel, or you can even just post a little post-it here on the wheel, uh, so you can see it in the rewind mirror on the truck. When you're moving forward, either the, the dot or the, the post-it is moving, uh, so then you know if the if the wheels are turning and also you can just put a little note here or something in the wheel and if the note has fallen out when you're moving forward you know that the, the wheel has been moving or else it's probably locked so yep that was a little tip for today So guys, uh, now you know maybe a little bit more about what to do to prevent the wagon to freeze or what to do if you have a tire that has been frozen. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the same on a trailer because this is how you do on a duomatic uh, on the wagon. So if you do the same on your trailer, please drop a comment or if you do anything else. Uh, I'm very interested about this. And um, yep, if you liked my video, don't forget to like it and please subscribe if you want to see more videos. And you can also drop a comment and tell me what you thought about it, if you have any questions or if you want to know anything special around this or just drop a comment about anything. Uh, so anyways, I want to wish you all an awesome new year and that this year will be your year. That you will do the things you always wanted to do and that your maybe your dreams come true and yeah. I'm getting too deep here, but anyways, thank you all for watching, have an awesome day and time and new year, and I will see you in the next video, bye!